Welcome back guys, this is Benito again and this is tutorial number 8. In this tutorial I'll show you how to use the gauges in MATLAB App Designer. So let's open up MATLAB App Designer and we will drag in a gauge. So all the code um, that I write for this gauge will be applicable to all the different type of gauges. So what then we will do is drag in a numeric edit field what I'm going to show you is basically we'll input a number in this edit field and this number will be indicated on the gauge to do this we have to right click on the edit field and add a callback function if you try to add a callback function to the gauge you don't have that option so what we have to do is add a callback function to a text field, edit field, or any other components that allows you to use a callback function. So we'll add a callback function. Okay, so MATLAB has given us pre this predefined line of code which says value is the value what's inside the edit field. So we'll use this. Um, predefined line of code. To change the value it's it's once again very simple and you probably have guessed it if you've seen my previous tutorials. All you have to do is app dot if you click on this you know that this is the name so it's app dot gauge and we'll just do tab and value make sure the V is capital and equals will say value so the the value of the gauge is equal to the value inside the edit field and because we've defined the value as the value inside the edit field here we can just simply say edit field or you could actually say get rid of this and we'll, we can simply make it a one line code we don't need to have a two line code for this one you can simply say this Let's click run. Okay. 10. Okay, it goes up to 10. Let's do 20, 30. Let's see. 100. So that works well. Now let's try and add something else. So what we will do is we'll add a button, in fact we'll add two buttons and what we will do is let's say this is a button that increases the, increases the value on the gauge and this is a um, button that decreases the value of the gauge. So when we click on this increase it should go up and when we click on decrease it should come back down and we can create a you know we can go up in certain steps we can define that in the code so we'll add a callback function to this particular button so what happens when you click on the increase button we'll say when that's clicked we'll say app dot gauge dot value equals Let's just say we want the value to go up by five every time you click on the increase button. So what then what we have to do is we'll say the value of the gauge should be equal to app dot the current value plus five. So it, it's as simple as that. And then for the decrease, we'll add another callback and we'll say so when the decrease button is clicked we'll copy and paste this we want the value to go down by five so this means when you click on that button the gauge value will be what is the current gauge value minus five so let's try and see if this works let's click run okay increase okay it's going up in five as you can see and if we do decrease it goes down in five 
So you can do a lot of stuff like this and play around and make some really cool stuff. Um, just quickly I'll show you um, what we have on the properties um, tab in this right hand corner. So you can switch, you can, you can define what's the maximum and the minimum value here. So you can go up to a thousand or you can start um, you can you can start from negative numbers minus a thousand and then you can see it changes here and you can switch switch the gauge around to different to go in different directions and then you can define when the mini ticks should be so um, you can even actually get rid of the mini ticks so you can see it's a lot more cleaner. Uh, you can change the color and make it very bright like this if you like, or keep it clean, and you can change the font and whatnot. So this button here allows you to enable and disable the, the gauge. So if you remember from the previous tutorial, we can add in a switch and enable or disable this by turning the switch on or off. And I can show you this in later tutorials. So that's it for this tutorial guys. You can apply the same code to any other gauges in here and it should work as normal. So I hope you learned something new and in the later tutorials I'll show you more advanced techniques such as how to connect the gauge uh, to a simulating model so when the signals comes in from the simulating model it automatically changes. So my initial idea is to just go through all the components here so you get an idea of how to use all the components. Then we'll go into creating um, some nice little apps and then we'll make some really uh, quite advanced apps which is connected to Simulink, for example. So thank you guys and stay tuned for more.